perfect example. Tie it all together. These are more than two sentences. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. My father's a preacher. I can't help it. Uh, I'm something. Is it recording? Anyway, yep. Pretty that's much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, that makes me feel so good. Thank you. Yeah. I've never been one to be fearful, especially when tequila's involved. Keith Terry, I've been doing it for 15 years now. So Open mic night in Little Rock, Arkansas, Looney Bin. At the Looney Bin. Yeah. That was your first gig, huh? I, got, I went to Open mic night with my friends, and they put my name on the list. Didn't know. They called my name, up on, walked up on stage, didn't know anything about doing comedy, and I just started talking, and it was horrible. I was nervous. I wasn't funny like I was in the car on the way up here making fun of somebody's mama. It was, it was more or less, uh, I started laughing, and it was something that was like natural or something that was like that finally came out and the people reacted to it. And I was like, 40 seconds in to that experience, I was like, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Straight up happened just like that. My first paid week on the road was right here in Wichita. I think that this period of music altogether is the best period of music because it still stands as strong as it did when it was first released and yeah. put out, you know? Yeah. Hands down. Big, big time Hendrix, Joplin, uh, Jethro Tull, uh, Doors, go on and on. Oh, and I mean, on. you're not going to hear it like at the uh, car wash on Sundays. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't going to go through the projects and you're not going to hear uh, me and Bobby McGee blasting <laughs> with some big old bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken back. Boom, boom, boom. Bad and rude. Boom. <laughs> that would be hilarious, right? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can make that happen. Man. That's actually, that would die laughing. You imagine that? Oh, Lord, won't you buy me a boom, 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 boom. Bitch. No. Yes, when you, uh, but like some families fight. But uh, <laughs> it, that is true when you, um, and they are family, you know. They, they're definitely family, without a doubt. Like, we've been through a lot over a course of weekends. Hmm. And we haven't, it's not like we went and lived together for like a year or a summer. We just crossed paths at different times in life and it, we always were connected. And we went through, it's just cool, man. You know, it's really groovy because that's, I can say that in my career in travels, I have that in Wichita. <laughs> I don't know why it couldn't be in Miami, but <laughs> it's in Wichita. <laughs> I'll take that though. Uh, actually, you can catch me on my Facebook. I really do everything through Facebook. With the way that social media is changing, I had a website and I wasn't getting as much traffic. I was getting more traffic through YouTube. Comedian Keith Terry on YouTube and Keith D. Terry at Facebook.com uh, or Twitter. I've been on Twitter so long, I have my name. It's Keith Terry. You're, you're the only, you got your name? I got it first. That's yes. how long I've been on Twitter. That's awesome. It's like, there's no one, two, three, four. There's no, it's, it's Keith Terry. Terry. That's awesome. I know, right? <laughs> That's how long I've been on Twitter. And I only have 15 followers. <laughs> I don't believe that. I, I get one every year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's that? Is he cool with you doing comedy? Like uh, He's never seen me. Never seen you? No, nah, man. Really? No. Nah. He, um... Yeah, he's a Southern Baptist preacher. Oh. He's, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if I did comedy in the closet, it'd be cool. <laughs> you know, one of them kind of Baptists is like, it's bad when everybody know about it. Yeah. But if don't nobody know about it, it's cool. Because I used to tell Richard, I mean, uh, Eddie Murphy jokes all the time and he thought it was funny. But when I was like, I'm a comedian, it's like, oh, go to hell. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. Because I'm putting money in the plate on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I 10%, I'm going to get saved. <laughs> Can I wear my glasses or is it going to reflect? Oh, yeah, you can wear your glasses. Okay, thank you. Also, you look, like, smarter a little bit with that. Well, thank you for letting me know how dumb I look. Uh, <laughs> but if you put it together, I believe that you have some, you have, like, a whole picture. You know what I mean? Like a pretty painting. Yeah. And I think all marijuana should be legal, so <laughs> take that, roll it up, smoke on it, whatever. Yeah. Uh, should I not put that on there for your dad's purposes, or is that... I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I'm grown. Yeah, you're grown. It's not like he's buying my weed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't a pothead. It's just that I'm not going to be an alcoholic, so... <laughs> One or the other. One or the other, yeah. <laughs>
So I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> I love it, man. That's a good way to get me started in an interview. <laughs> I'm awake now. <laughs> oh, no, good, 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 good. Well, I well you didn't have to say it twice. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. You're like... You would have, you're just like, uh, it, it's never, ever happened. Never happened. It's, it's never it's happened in this state <laughs> until you were booked. And they're like, yeah, that's the dude in the Kevin Hart movie. Again, again, again. <laughs>